What's going on guys? Jake Teaser with the latest Mustang and Automotive News. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It is about the Prius. I know you guys are subscribed for the Mustang content, but I'll keep that coming. But for now, I have an interesting story about how to keep your Prius battery alive. Mine died, and in the video, I'm going to tell you why, kind of what happened, how it happened, how to prevent yours from happening. So I went on a long road trip in the Prius. It was like 500 miles. Um, came back and went to the movies in Santa Monica. And I noticed that the, I just went ahead and put in an EV mode, which is just electric mode where the gas engine's not running. Um, so I was using electric mode, just the battery. And I was in Santa Monica. It's a very busy area. I got down to second street and the car just dies. The big warning light comes on that shows you that the battery is, is pretty much gone. Um, that shows up on your dash. It's the big warning light that you don't want to see. So I pulled over, um, just huge amount of traffic behind me the Santa Monica of kind of like security people had to like push me out of the way it was just such a scene it was like Saturday at like 3 p.m. so there's just tons of cars everywhere people were honking it was a it was a big scene um, so long story short I sat for two hours got a tow truck they towed me to the house uh, once I got to the house I started researching you know I really didn't want it to be the battery so what I did was just kept researching and researching First thing I did is I went to go get the 12 volt battery. Uh, that was $211 from AutoZone. I replaced the 12 volt. I had them check the original battery and they were kind of saying, I'm not sure if it's that battery. I don't, we, we can't tell if the battery's dead or not. And I don't know, it's hard to believe these guys. Um, they weren't very clear on if the 12 volt was dead or not. So I kind of had to take a gamble on replacing. I decided, what the heck, just go ahead and replace it. It's $211 replaced it brought it back so previously the headlights and everything were completely dim the headlights wouldn't turn on or anything replaced the battery the headlights started working i could lock and unlock the car because i had 12 volt battery uh finally working so the car wouldn't start lights were still on so unfortunately uh that's what happened got pretty disappointed Kept researching, I pulled the big fuse, which I'll show you where the fuse is at. Um, let me just show you right now. This is how to get to the, this is how to get to the 12 volt battery. You just lift this dude up. Um, unlock this, unlock this, pull this up. Get this out of the way. And then you need to take this tray out. Which mine just pops out pretty easily. And then this dude pops out. As you can see, he's been taken out plenty of times. This is where your 12 volt battery is, okay? So this is new, I replaced this. Car still wouldn't start. So you can reset this also. This is the main battery. All you do is pull this out, over, and then you wanna let it set for a minute. Obviously, if you want to go anywhere, you need to put it back in, push this dude in, and then over. That's how it works. And then lock it into place like that. So I thought that the battery was dead. I was convinced that since the car has 210,000 miles on it now, that the battery's dead. It's going to cost me $1,500 or 1000 to replace that big battery, get a remanufactured one. So at this point, I had replaced the 12-volt battery, and I was trying to figure out codes to look at stuff, figure out how I could further diagnose it without just going ahead and assuming that the main battery was dead. So basically, I just kept reading, and I thought there was something else I could figure out. Long story short, what happened was I was reading through the forms, and I saw a I saw someone talk about the gas gauge being faulty on the Prius, and this is what this is how I figured it out. I was just thinking to myself, one of that long road trip, I put 500 miles in the tank. That's quite a 550 actually on that gas on that tank, and I know it holds 12.5 or 13.5 gallons. So I was thinking, well, that's pretty good gas mileage considering I went up a mountain and back down. Um, so what I did was I decided, what if the gas gauge is faulty? And then I started thinking about it. I was like, I bet that's what it is. I bet the car just ran out of gas in the Prius and it caused the battery to run low because I put it in EV mode 
And when you put a car in EV mode, or should I say, when you run the batteries down low, it will kill the battery. So I killed the battery by running the car out of gas because the gas gauge was faulty, which is a common issue with these uh, Priuses is it'll show two bars. So my gas gauge showed two bars. Even though it had two bars, there was no gas in it. There was no, it ran out of gas, completely out of gas. And when I ran out of gas, um, it was running on EV mode, which was just using the battery power to move the vehicle, which basically ran all the juice out and that killed the 12 volt on top of the primary battery being dead the big the big battery being dead so long story short your gas gauge might not be accurate there's even something in the manual that tells you to when you're adding gas to add more than like two or three gallons at a time so don't just don't just add a few gallons your gas gauge won't be accurate you need to go ahead and fill the car up also, I wouldn't recommend running the car down anything lower than three bars or two bars because it starts getting inaccurate. Maybe not all of them are like that. This one wasn't always like that, but it slowly started to get inaccurate in the gas gauge reading. So I went and got a, um, a, fil a siphon, a gas tank that had a, um, a spout. So ran to Home Depot on the Mustang, um, bought a gas tank canister filled it up with uh, 87 brought it home filled it up with gas and it started but the warning lights were still on so I had to take the battery um, reset the battery pull the plug on the main battery and everything was fine so long story short that was my $211 tank of gas as I say because running it out of gas cost me $211. I got a free tow through AAA, through my, uh, through Geico, I think it was, because I have to pay $5 a month for whatever, um, free towing. So uh, total cost was $211 for running out of a tank of gas, and it took me about six hours. So I had to wait on the tow truck and then all this stuff. So save yourself some time, fill your gas tank. Make your Don't trust the gas gauge if you have an older Prius. Um, could be inaccurate, could leave you stranded, then could also make you think that you're hybrid battery is faulty when it's actually not I, and this is what I found out is I bet a lot of people have ran their Prius out of gas which actually killed the battery because when you run the hybrid batteries really low it's super bad for them so it can actually cause your battery to you know burn out prematurely if you're constantly running around in EV mode or you're constantly like hypermiling it and the, and the battery is always low you want to keep that thing charged up by using your brakes properly uh, coasting on the brakes as much as you can and keep that battery charged up if you're if you're worried about uh, battery replacement life and all this stuff so don't let your car run out of gas assume that it's possible that your gas gauge is faulty and um, even if you're looking at a used Prius and they say that the battery's dead I would and it's in the gas gauge shows that it's low I would put some gas in it and make sure because I bet there's some people who have thought that the hybrid battery system was bad when it wasn't they just ran the car to gas and they didn't know any better and they probably sold it off thinking that the battery is dead who knows but um, I could see because I'm a car guy and I still got too excited thinking that it was the hybrid battery without checking the basics like you know the gas gauge could be faulty so long story short if you're an average guy who's not paying attention to stuff and you're not a car guy it'd be super easy to think that your hybrid battery is faulty just because your gas gauge is faulty so thanks for watching i'll keep pumping out the mustang and automotive content as we go and uh stay tuned for more let me know what you uh if you have a prius and you've had the similar experience i know there's a i'm gonna make a few more videos on old consumption on this the headlight there's a uh, service bulletin on the headlights you can get your headlights replaced uh by toyota because these headlights are the harning, the wireness, uh, the uh, wiring harness is faulty on this Prius, um, 2010 and a few other years. So uh, your headlights prematurely burn out, but I'm gonna post a video on that soon also as well. Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. This is primarily Mustang and automotive news content. Thanks for watching.